This is a club that's undergone so many changes since they last reached the playoffs in 2010 and Farley House is one of the uh, more grander, obvious ones. However, there aren't too many threads linking this week with five years ago. One of them is the captain of the ship though, the skipper, Stuart Hooper. Back inside to Hooper! I'm fortunate in that I've been doing the role I've been doing for a long time and one thing I can assure you know anyone who, who you know not involved with our club is it's never false so anything I anything I say is not I don't try and find a false lever from somewhere I don't try and find a driver which is going to inspire the boys or something like that I you know I care unbelievably deeply about this club but more importantly probably the guys that I play with I mean like I, I want them to do well I'm desperate for them to do well so when I talk I just talk about what I believe in I talk about how I feel they can they can have an impact on the game and you know, hopefully it'll continue to work. Talk, 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 talk. Every scrum, yeah. the flanker is a fourth front row member. Okay. I'm in the second row okay. and his head is in I'll my have a look at the next one. There's never that, that awkward grey moment where you don't know where you stand with Stu. Um, he's there, he's given us the truth and the honesty and that's what most players want. Um, and he's, he's such a man that he can also turn around and get to tell the coaches what he thinks because um, they have so much respect also for him. And to have that as a player and be performing at the top of his level as well and be taking us to what we've done this year. Um, just all applause to, to him and how well he's done this year. Lots of players lead by example. A lot of people can articulate leadership and live leadership. And I think it's very rare that you get all three. And um, I think that Stuart Hooper epitomises that, no doubt. The changing room is still quite a, quite a sacred place. And the, and the little bits that you might hear before we go out. Um, when you come from the changing room, you go into wherever you're playing at the rec, 14,000 people, screaming fans. You need something in your head to hang your hat on. You need a clear message to be able to begin the game. I think too often you, you get very emotional. The important thing in any rugby game is what you actually do. You know, it's, that, it's your actual contribution in, in what you do. So it's focusing in on, on your first job, really. And wh whatever that is to us, we know what the kickoff's going to be. We know whether we're receiving or kicking, and we'll take it from there. It depends which camp you talk to, but Bath's 45-0 shellacking of Leicester at the rec back in September is either an enormous motivating factor coming back here or a match of no significance whatsoever. Ultimately, as you know, with the greatest respect to, to Leicester, and I've got a lot of respect for them, I'm more interested about what we do. I'd very much like to forget about that game. We've got a challenge in front of us, which is Leicester on the weekend in a semi-final, but it, you know, it, could be, it could have been Gloucester the week before. It's, it's very much what's in front of us, what can we do? The last 22 weeks of, of rugby in the Premiership means nothing now. It, it's done and dusted. These are a one, if you're lucky, two games which you, you, you're not going to get back. You've just got to play the 80 minutes that are in front of you. There's been a great deal of sacrifice by the players and people and the staff, the fans, and, and ultimately it's great to, to be at home. And, and particularly, I think, that what often gets overlooked is for the families of the people that are involved. People come back battered and bruised and in a bad mood because it hasn't gone well. You know, they, they have to carry the can a lot for us internally. So to be at home and I think for them to witness that, you know, that is a reflection on what we've done and we're very delighted for that. But I think the home semi-final bit is really nice because we'll get to at least to share the experience with the people that matter.